My name is Jack Reeder, and I'm an automotive technician here at McCurley Subaru. It's definitely a mentor-based system, um, and I think as you start to work on cars, like, you know, from a green standpoint, from a beginner level, um, you really do a lot of on-the-job training. You know, it, that's when it really ingrains in you. You know, it's it's the experience that helps you learn quicker and helps you retain that information better. And uh, the mentors help along the way. I mean, I still have mentors here that I'm still learning from. You know, and it's a never-ending process of learning. So. So at YV Tech, uh, which is like Tri Tech here in Tri Cities, um, you they they start you off like each each semester is gravitated towards like engines or transmissions or um, drivetrain or um, you know the AC system or HVAC or electrical, and so um, and then Perry is similar in that nature to where you start off with the basics, you know um, you know tires alignment. Uh, suspension, you know, the easier, more stuff to grasp, I guess, uh, as a concept. And then as you get more experience and understand more of a, how a vehicle operates, you get into the engine, the transmission, um, the electrical, the different uh, modules that, you know, run the, run the, run the car. And, uh, and then, yeah, and so you just progress slowly through the vehicle until, until you've learned the majority of how it operates. The, the benefits of going through school, I would say, are um, you definitely get uh, kind of a leg up uh, when you're getting hired, you know, as far as, you know, looking at your resume. Um, it's, it's easier to maybe land a job and, uh, you know, get your foot in the door. Um, as far as um, salary goes, uh, I, I would say you do get a little bit of a leg up. Um, but really, I think the, the salary makes a difference when you become more experienced. It's when you, when you can get a car in and know exactly what you're doing without having to ask for help and take a ton of time and, and really understand, you know, what's going on with the car and, you know, it's understanding of, you know, the process really. So. Some of the ways to stay up to date in the automotive industry is um, it really varies by manufacturer. Um, you know, a lot of them are going towards um, I wouldn't say self-driving, but um, adaptive driving, um, as far as you know, trying to prevent accidents and that, and um, you know, fatalities on the road. Um, and so, to stay up to date on that, you you get sent out to um, manufacturer training. If you work for you know uh, a manufacturer, say Subaru, Ford, whatever, and so. And then um, they, the instructors there do a good job explaining the systems and, and really how they were engineered and how they're used to benefit the driver in a way. Um, and then as far as the tooling goes, um, usually um, if it's a specialty tool, it'll be um, given to you or supplied from the manufacturer itself. And um, if, um, if it's more of an ordinary general tool, usually um, the, the tool trucks will come around and they always have yearly conferences where they update tools and show us new things to be more productive and and you know get the job done right and cleanly and without you know issue the one of the most rewarding aspects is when you get a car that's tricky it's kind of hard to diagnose and you aren't really sure the what the problem is um, and it's taking you a couple hours to come to a conclusion once you finally fix that and you know it's fixed, you can confirm it. I think that's honestly one of like the most rewarding feelings because you, you took the time, you figured it out, you you know understood the system to be able to you know properly fix and diagnose the vehicle, and, and I think that's it's like a, a, a sense of you know completion. It's 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 a, definitely a good feeling. 